Hi there, I'm Josh Finn from J and H Aerospace coming to you from our R&D headquarters here. Most of you by now are familiar with the various helicopters that we've been producing for the uh, current Science Olympiad rules. Uh, so that's the Twister and the Tornado. Uh, well, if uh, if something is better, bigger than a tornado and uh, more powerful, I guess you would call it a hurricane. This aircraft is the Hurricane 2025. It is based off of the design work by Dr. David Ehrenstein, who partnered with National Free Flight Society to produce a, uh, an optimized helicopter design. This is the result of our research program, and this helicopter is the highest performance helicopter available as a kit for the current Science Olympiad rules. This is an aircraft that's capable of two and a half minutes and possibly more uh, in, in a typical uh, large room. Uh, in our living room, we are getting flights of about two minutes with it or more. So, uh, very high performance aircraft. Uh, this is not a beginner's kit. So, if you're watching this and thinking, oh, I'll buy this and I'll go win with it. If you have not built a twister and a tornado and gotten them flying, do not buy this kit, you will not have success. This is this requires precision building. It's not difficult, but it has to be exact. 3D printed fittings here to provide proper alignment. And uh, so let's watch it fly. This helicopter's uh, one thing that as far as being able to get best performance out of it, it does require a, a very tight squeeze in the, uh, in the box here. So it's actually physically in contact with the uh, edges of the box. So you want to watch out for that. Um, this box has gotten squished a little bit, so that's why there's a little bit of trouble there. But um, also I'm hot on the corners of the box here. There we go. Now we're fitting in without deforming, because that is a requirement, is that it not deform and it's, it's in contact, but it's not deformed. And so, we'll flip the lid of the box shut. You can see here where, what I was talking about, that uh, this box actually is deformed a little bit. Um, so that's why it fits tightly. But the, uh, the bottom line is that with this helicopter, uh, the one thing that you need to be careful about is that uh, putting it in and removing it is a little challenging. Uh, and, because of the nature of it, this is uh, this is a helicopter that you would want to consider not storing in the box. You would want to put, get a um, plastic tub or something to store this one in, and just use the box purely for check-in. Do you need help opening it? 
snow. And this time. Well, Nick was offering to help you. This one doesn't want to be nice. Okay, well, you make your other one and you're good to go. Yep. All you have to do is All you do is so, yeah. Make your two rabbit ears. Yeah, this one came apart. Okay. The, now the important thing is you got to keep the knot on. Yeah. <laughs> so you can cross one over the other. There you go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.